What's up guys, Joe Gas here. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Mac OS X Lion. A lot of you know, um, along with the release of the new MacBook Pro, they've also released a developer seed of the upcoming operating system. I was lucky enough to get my hands on it, and I thought I'd review it for you guys. So, basically the whole theory behind this operating system is it's supposed to take the iPad, iOS, and bring it into Mac. Now... What this is going to add is a lot more simplicity, and a lot of gestures have been added into this. Apple is moving towards a gesture operating system. Um, I expect in the new iOS that there's going to be tons of new gestures in that, too. So this is a lot more simpler and elegantly made operating system, I guess you can say. And I'm going to be going over some of the features. All right, so the first thing you'll see is there's no big change. Now, as you can see, there are dock indicators, but by default, surprisingly, if we go to the dock settings over here and turn this off, Apple basically removed dock indicators when you first get the Mac. But obviously, I prefer to have that checked in because how else are you supposed to know that an app is launched or not? Also, they've added another feature called Minimize Window into Application Icon, and if I minimize this, it'll actually shrink into the Settings app. I don't know if you could see that, but that's pretty cool. Um, I like to have it to the right separator of my dock by default. And, you know, I have magnification checked in, which is a nice little cool feature. So that's basically that. You could probably tell by the windows, they've added slight UI adjustments, which I think is a perfect decision. Everything looks a lot more sleek. Um, they've added noise to the, na um, to the top nav window draggable thing I guess I don't know the exact name and the traffic lights are up here a little bit more smaller and they look a lot more refined um, what Apple always does on the new operating system they add new wallpapers so we got this mountain this Chinese place and this awesome summit thingy and by scrolling there you can see that they've also refined the scroll bar it looks a lot like iOS if I scroll up, it'll actually scroll down, and if I scroll down, it'll scroll up. It has inverted scrolling, just like iOS. And it also bounces, as you can see there, if I scroll a little bit too hard or too soft, depending on the pressure. So that's basically that, which I think is really cool. Um, it's going to take a while to get used to scrolling invertedly, but we've been used to it on our iPhone, so it's probably not too much of a hard transition to do on the Mac. Now, whether you have a mouse or a trackpad, there's going to be a lot more options over here. Um, there are swipe left with two fingers to navigate or to activate mission control. And you can double tap to do mission control, which is what I'm going to do. So I have navigate and mission control together. So that's basically that. And so, yeah, that's pretty much UI changes, settings, and a uh, few app adjustments, scroll bar. Next thing is Launchpad, which is probably the most buggy experience I've had with Lion so far. The animations on this are so choppy, and it looks like it's a separate app. It doesn't look like it's connected with the Mac, I guess you could say. I don't know how to explain it. But this is an application launcher. This isn't going to replace Stacks because the most you can do with this is launch apps. You can't navigate to any other directory. So basically, you'd click on the icon to launch it. I could drag it, rearrange it just like iOS, hover over one to create a folder, but I'm not going to do that. When you put a folder into your apps folder and add apps in it, it'll automatically default add a folder, which, you know, there's the utility folder right there. As you can see, when I click it, it's a very choppy animation. And this is not because I'm recording my screen. It's like this by default. So this is the first release of the beta, so hopefully Apple will get all that out of the way and those problems solved. Um, next thing would be mission control. As I said before, this basically takes spaces, expose, and dashboard, all those other cool stuff, and combines it into one control center. Now, you could press the expose button on your keyboard, but I'm going to double tap with two fingers on my magic mouse, and it's going to bring on mission control. Now, if I had Windows opened up here, so, I don't know, let me open up some Windows. There, the address book is a little bit more refined. They've added an actual book interface, which looks awesome. I have to give Apple definitely a one up on that 
And so if I go into Mission Control now, it's going to show my windows. If I press the space bar, it'll give me a bigger preview. You, it's, pro it's similar to um, Expose, and I can click on that. It'll bring it to the front. Next thing is um, full screen apps. Now, I already have a full screen app. I'm in Safari right now. If I click on the top, it'll show my status bar. And then on the far right, there is the full screen app button, which will then scale it down to normal size. So basically, this is a normal window with a full screen button. When I press that, it creates a new space and fills my Mac up to the application window to the size of my display. I also have mail opened up over here. And to navigate spaces, all I'm doing is taking two fingers, swiping left which is awesome. It's like having basically a second display. I'm going to be using this feature the, with the OS itself. I mean, I'm always going to have Safari opened up in a space like that. That's really cool. If I swipe to the right, it'll open up my dashboard, which is nice. Um, so yeah, guys, that's basically it. One more thing they've added um, with QuickTime. There's a few more updates to that as well. Um, if I make a new screen recording, I guess, you can, I could click to record full screen or I could drag and record a section of my screen, which is really awesome. So if I make a quick recording here, um, basically I'm going to be done. And they've added a lot more sharing options as well. So now that my recording's done, I could press the option, and there's Vimeo, Flickr, Facebook, Mail. They've added a few over here. I'm not sure exactly, but you could see. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Little stuff like that, guys. Um, overall, definitely worth upgrading to this operating system. Apple's kind of making it more of a closed environment. They're trying to make it more user-friendly. That's definitely for sure. Um with the you know the Mac App Store and all that stuff and bringing the iOS that the most of the Apple users are familiar to to their main operating system you could also see Finder has a few minor adjustments with the black and white sidebar and as I said before this new scrolling navigation switcher up here like I said you're gonna be finding this in a lot of Apple default apps probably also in other apps as well so guys, that's basically my review of Lion. Leave your comments below on what you think of the operating system. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a great day, guys.